Millennium wise reactive armor is incredible. Infernal blade on range is quite good. I haven't seen that in a while. I don't know Devourer isn't is this new edition? I feel like I haven't seen Devourer before. But that looks fun. Bonus gold on whatever hero wants it, plus creep ability. If if it actually works, that's really sick. I feel like exorcism with like static link and ags would be really cool. Something to like constantly deal damage. Like if you get exorcism with some damage over time thing. Like it'd be so good. Would flat cannon work with exorcism eggs? That's what I'm gonna try to get. These are all really good abilities. Bad juju bro strike. I think Devourer is probably not, but... Pango Disarm with this, yeah, that could be good. Four, three, two, one. Your turn to click. Let's do Flat Cannon, because I can use the thingy Mobobber with it. Sideblades is usually what players pick at high levels too, actually. Just because it guarantees that they can farm really fast because it's AoE. Alright, other eggs abilities. What do we got? Um, This doesn't work. Hooray. Got Swashbuckle potentially. Thanks, Remy. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Dazzle Poison. Four, yeah. Three, that could work. Um... I'm going to take this because I like the combo implication of re like if I buy ags, which I'm going to do because of flat cannon, that every time an attack comes out, I'm going to get an exorcism spirit. That seems busted, especially with um, side gunner. Like I feel like these two together have to be like disgustingly busted because I'm attacking twice, twice as often and shooting a ghost. Like once I buy ags, that's got to be really good. Not to mention the fact that exorcism just does a lot of damage and, and razor is pretty tanky. So depending, on, I, I'm not sure what I'm going to get to follow up, but um, it just seems good. I don't necessarily know how affected by your spells or when you attack an enemy, a ghost will fly out. There's a chance that it just won't work on some abilities. Maybe it's hard coded to only work with like these three abilities, but it should work with attacks. And because flat cannon is an attack, I think it's going to work with ags. So more or less, it's going to like perma slow people just about. Not perma, but like heavily slow them and not to mention do extra damage. So I think this will work really nice. Infernal Blade and Tidebringer. This man is drafting very interestingly, is how I would describe it. Who's got, he's got reactive. Um, Whirling Death Hi. here. Thanks for the subs, Rillian. Appreciate it. Poison Touch. It attacks eight units. That could be good. Yes. All right, it's gone now. I can't believe Sideblades is still here. That would be good on me. If I had perfect abilities, I would do Sideblades Static Link, I think. Hooray. It's like so much AoE. It's not very much laning stage. That's one big downside, but... Oh, man. Everybody here is really drafting Hooray. super funky, I gotta say. All right, Sideblades is gone now. Um, I'm going to take Static Link because it could work here. Two, one. Your turn to do Static Hooray. Link. Yeah, this build does look really fun, actually. Um, last ability, I should probably take some kind of a nuke to contribute to the laning stage if things go bad. But with that said, things are looking okay. So maybe I can get away with so many things I want. Lucky Shot's pretty sick, actually, with the flat cannon. Normally, I wouldn't necessarily prioritize it here, but I feel like I have to take it. Cause I'm gonna be attacking so much with Ags. Four, three, two, one. So let's. There's so many good things. Scorched Earth is amazing. There's so many good abilities. Like actually, so many good abilities here. Storm Surge would be really solid with my build. Scorched Earth would be ridiculously good. Plasma Field would be good. No, Frost Blast is good. Sandstorm is good. I can't believe Sandstorm's still here. Refraction is pretty good and it's still here. So much good stuff. Movement speed on Razor is sad. Yeah. 
it is going to be. I'm only 285, but it's okay. I can build some of that. Like, I'm going to be slowing people. I'm going to have eggs. I think it's going to be a little okay. Um, yeah, static link with flat cannon is insane. Static link with um, gyro eggs is insane. Like, my build is really good. This build feels busted. Yeah. Hooray! Uh, I could go mid to Since Mookie playing. Oh. Nobody wants to hit creeps. I'm going to go mid just so I can get a lot of levels. Um, I'll probably max out a mix of static link and flat cannon. I'll probably get lucky shot at two. Just to be able to proc it mid, I guess. Rod and Aghanims? No, I don't need Rod. I definitely need Ags. Um, BOTs is not a bad idea, considering the fact that phase is not that good, and I definitely need movement speed with my ultimate. So I think I like that idea of going like brown boots. Treads is not bad either, though, with um, Static Link. Can I get two Tangos from some support? Could just do Wraith Bands though, I don't think this is that bad. Oop, that's enough, that's enough. S someone can have that one back. Damage looks decent. Should I get two Wraith Bands? I don't, I think I should, because outside of like Static Link and Flat Cannon, I really don't farm that fast. I probably should max Flat Cannon first, so I'll get like maybe two points of Static Link. I don't really think I need to max this out, because what's probably going to happen is I'm going to win my lane. And then it's not worth um, sticking around anymore. Then I'll do a mix of like tower pushing. I'm gonna need BKB at some phase. I could also go drum. I see. I'm safe lane. Maybe like drum and ags or something. Brown boots, wand, drum, and t with wraith bands and ags. It's probably the right thing to do with my build. I feel like health, agility, armor, attack speed. Yeah, those are all. Those all look really, really good. I barely looked at their builds because I just I was like my build is sick I don't have to worry this build is kind of weird but okay this build's pretty good I don't like his ultimate this build's great this build is weird this one's kind of weird uh, I guess he can rock a barrage a lot should I get a blade mill or the fuck blade mill against this guy would be good Dazzle's build is really weird not very good. It's going to fall off, probably. Oh, I got Doom, so I'm going to get Tidebringer. I need the Sap. Definitely need some regen. that happen. Fans are pretty good here, actually.
Having uh, Tidebringer just makes this a lot harder. Like a lot of regen here. Oh God, I really should have brought this a lot earlier. I fucking die here. Like walk back for this. My armor is not that incredible either, which doesn't help. Don't want to get splashed for free. Missing, he got bot rune. Could be a bot soon. Never mind, he's back. Uh, let's get more of this, I guess. Checked bot rune. Really don't need mana regen, like at all. Even like drum is kind of a waste. Should I go gank top? Is that crazy? It's probably crazy. Just splashed. I fucking knew it. Hooray! It's kind of crazy they're still fighting me, actually. Flashy. Okay. Boots. Um. He's basically just splashing me with his armor, no wonder. This has been difficult. Um. Let's do the full wand, I guess. Still quite a lot of damage from this moment. Oh no. Is it only two? I see. That's perfect. I got on this time. Considering that he's a strong laner, I think this is probably fine. Thank god I got that uh, dodge. Made things a lot easier for sure. Yes, ghosts. Yes, give me the heal a little once. Well, okay, so far so good. Definitely burning some mana now, I gotta say. Just still go... 
BOTs first? Probably not. I should start building ag stuff, in my opinion. Let's get one of these. I love how that looks, it's very cool. So let's do this, and how about this? Perfect, some beautiful mana that I definitely needed. Probably should have done Ancients instead, I feel like, but don't tell me that shit didn't stack. What? What in the actual hell? I didn't wake that guy up. What? What is happening? Shit was coming. Oops. Yes, I would very much like to use this. He has a good build. All my stacks is not working, dude. Still takes time for them to come out, I guess, but. What's that guy doing? <sighs> um, I'm just gonna walk back mid. My movement speed's still pretty ass, but when I get ags, I'm gonna farm so much faster with side gunner that I don't think it matters. Assuming that it worked, the ulti works the way I expect it to. Looking forward to that being maxed out too, I gotta say. Which is gonna be good. Okay, well, I bought out, um, I'm definitely going agility here, I need more attack speed, damage, stuff like that. Um, I don't think that was terrible, I maybe lost a little gold. I definitely was too far up though. So weird. The 
Tom. two kills? I did get two kills. This is really sick. Like really sick. It takes time for it to ramp up obviously but that's maybe the one good thing about it being low attack speed. I think I need an SNY actually. Status resistance would be really good here. So got side gunner. Let's see if this works. If this works it's gonna be godly. No neutrals actually. Still very slow. HP is relatively good at least. But my damage is only going to get better as I start stealing more damage. Alright, give me the ghost. It works! It's fucking insane! Alright guys, my build is done. I'm insanely strong. I should have stacked this shit. Actually just auto attack the ground and it's like insanely good. So I just need like a BKB or some shit and everything's fine. They will be illusions, it's cool. Plus my lucky shot's about to get maxed out too. I just need movement speed really bad. Bounties. We can definitely fight in them, I'm strong as fuck. I'm strong as fuck. It's so sick. It works. Okay. I could get life steal pretty easily. I mean, I get life steal probably from. Yeah, I'm getting life steal from when the spirits come back too. I guess if I don't get a Kai, I won't get lifesteal from it because it's spell lifesteal, I believe, but... There we go, that's some movement speed. Don't get, uh, I don't get it on those ones, but that's okay. so good. It's so fucking good. It's actually so fucking good, dude. I should have gotten the other the talent, but it's okay. Alright, um, Sanjiasha.
Let's go in Halberd. So, um, so far so good. I could get like Satanic or something to be a little safer just because of the fact that, um, should I take that? It's not terrible. I don't do that much spell amp, but poor guy. The movement seed's pretty good too, though. just so unfair I just like I'm like perma disable I'm like perma disarm perma slow and life stealing this build is so gross in case you want that oh no we gave him free experience so it does look like I'm taking a lot of magic damage now so losing a little armor is no big deal to me damage dude that's good I'm gonna take a rush I think pretty comfortable with my neutral item I think I think I get butterfly or something Q sentry to Roche sentry here to see if there's a warden This is easy. He just doesn't attack me. <laughs> it's so broken. I think I'll take it just to be safe. Uh, don't really worry too much about that. I'll take 8 armor for free. so busted. It's so fucking busted. It's actually insane how busted it is. So, butterfly? Okay, Scotty too. Scotty would be kind of good. I feel bad, dude. I feel like butterflies is just gonna make me attack speed, damage, all that good stuff, so it's probably worthwhile. I bring the razor light. Good. If 
I just move around and like prevent them from getting any ground ever, I just feel like that's a good use of my time. do the tri camp quick. We can well we can go high ground but So butterfly kind of bad here, basically, but because most people just buy MKBs. I can still Scotty or whatever. Or it'd be really safe just go Satanic. Probably what I should do. I'll sell this. My current flow. <laughs> I love how he's just rolling like this. It's so funny. So busted. Butterfly looked semi useful there. If they had like more good builds, I could probably be dealt with a little, but it's like it's like an insane amount of physical damage. Now that I have Satanic, I'm going to be life stealing through my attacks. And then I just need to go another damage item, I think. If I really want to make it fun, I'll go Rapier or something, but... I get extra life steal from this, so I forgot about the extra stats resistance too. 80 attack speed. Free magic resistance is nice too, I gotta say. for sure. 
That was without my ulti. Don't need, uh, don't need BKB this game with this much, um, survivability. I got I like my damn, I, I basically, basically I lifesteal from my attacks because of the ghost and I slow. So if the game was closer, I probably, I would have gone BKB probably, but could have gotten away with just SNY basically. That was probably the most busted build I've done in a long time. The disarm was actually insane. Yeah, the disarm was like bonkers good, actually. It wasn't necessarily that good. It didn't matter that much early, but like... Um, having disarm with static link is just crazy. With double attacks. If it's one attack, it's not that big a deal, because you don't attack that much. 17% only lasts so long. But the fact that I had two attacks on a guy with Ags while stealing their damage, while disarming and slowing them and lowering their armor. It's like, this build was actually disgusting in almost all ways. And then I just turn flat cannon on while I static link a guy and it just starts hitting everybody. If I really wanted to be safe, I could hold flat cannon until a little bit later, but... DPLT with Ags makes it so that every time he deals damage, a ghost comes out and hits them. Yes, and on top of that, static link to steal more physical damage and flash deal AOE. I, I, can't, I don't really get AoE lifesteal from my ghost because every time I would flat cannon, the people I wasn't directly attacking would not get ghosted. But anybody that my side gunner, the other auto attack that comes out like Gyro's eggs, that would provide a ghost. So every attack I do and every attack my side gunner does pr produces a ghost, which lifesteals me. But yeah, the, the combo, it was basically busted as soon as I got flat cannon and exorcism together. Those were going to be really good with any other carry build. It just got better because I also got Static Link and Lucky Shot, which also work really well together. It's like all four abilities actually worked so good. That was probably the most busted build I've had in a long time. Again, there's a lot of wacky builds, right. but like some of these spells are still really effective. Spirit Siphon, Torrent, Ghost Ship, these are all really good. Infernal Blade's still really good. But Doom didn't have any other scaling as part of his issue. Oh, he was uh, breaking, man. I didn't even notice. With Ags. Not a bad idea. Oh, and he's using uh, Psionic Trap, I see. There's some stuns here, too, but mostly kind of weak builds. Kind of weak builds on both sides, but... You feel like you got everything you wanted to? Yeah, exactly. Your build and my build are really good. Kind of everybody else built a little weird. Doom's build was really good if he had a good ulti. If he had a good ulti, then I would have been really into his build, but... It's kind of a little bit wacky otherwise. You were the Dazzle, you did good early.